Hi everyone, welcome to our channel Learn with Mangalam. So today I'm going to discuss about the Infosys SPDRC exam pattern full process and what is the exact cutoff if you are appearing for the online assessment and what is the exact date for the online assessment. Students are receiving the mail for the Infosys SPDRC job role, right? Infosys SPDRC job role that is kind of very high job role for the Infosys. Okay, so this kind of mail students are receiving currently. We are candidates greetings from the Infosys. We are pleased to invite you the all Infosys off campus recruitment drive 2025 who are getting this response if you are from the 24 batch guys then students are getting the response and if you are from the 25 batch then students are getting the response okay so this is the exact mail and where you can clearly see this is the started test button if you are clicking on that one now then you can immediately start your assessment will uh, on which date okay on which date it is 13th of july 13th of July, you have to click on the start test button, then you can start your assessment. And what is the instruction that you have to follow uh, for this assessment, guys? You can clearly see. I will also suggest, guys, if you are appearing for the any online assessment, then you should check all the system compatibility. Whether your system is compatible for the assessment or not, that is very, very, very important. And instructions also, they have mentioned all the things. Kindly ensure you will connect it to a stable internet connection. Your internet connection should be very good, guys. Your internet connection should be very good okay and that is like uh, 2 mbps to something 5 mbps right that is uh, that should be and guidelines the login window will remain open for only 30 minutes so guys whether it is it is starting from the 3 pm 3 pm and it will end at 3 30 pm that is your login login will be on 3 30 minute only that uh, on that period only you have to log in that one okay that is clear guidelines you must not exit the test screen while taking the test any attempt to do so will be recorded so basically the screen full screen will be covered and you don't need to exit the screen if you are exiting this one now your assessment will stop there and they will not process further okay and uh, browser requirement for taking the test that is google chrome and microsoft is so only from the chrome and microsoft you can attend the assessment or microsoft as also if you if your system don't have that browser you have to download the browsers then only the system uh, compatibility will complete okay use of mobile smartwatch headphones and other electronic uh, gadgets uh, like uh, during the test is prohibited so basically don't use these uh, like a smartwatch or mobile something during the assessment that is very strict and in case of any query you can write to Infosys talent team okay i think these instruction and these guidelines are clear to you guys this type of many students are getting now i'm going to discuss about the for the assessment this is for sp and dsc job role guys it is this is very high and whether you have applied for, from the on campus and whether you have applied from the off campus the online assessment and exam pattern are same exam pattern would be same and how many questions will be there that will also same cut off also same. everything will be same whether you are from the on campus or off campus now i am going to discuss about the step one that is online assessment right that is online assessment guys online assessment will be on coding basis mostly coding basis there will be no aptitude assessment only coding assessment will be there that is your first round the full selection process if i tell you uh guys what is the exact process that you have to follow for the spdsc job role okay the exact process i will tell you first there will be total three rounds right first will be online assessment round guys online assessment that we can see online test if you are shortlisted from that round now then second will be technical interview that is tech interview guys okay tech interview and if you are shortlisted from the tech interview the last round would be hr or manager round okay so this is the exact selection process that you have to follow for the infosys sp or dsc job role okay it is clear to you now first assessment that is online assessment what is the exact exam pattern for this one the section would be coding round a number of question would be three coding question and three three hours and difficulty level high for the sp level because for sp they are providing 9.5 lakhs package and for dsc they are providing 6.5 lakhs package okay on the basis of the package you can clearly guess like uh, what level uh, they will ask the question for the specialist programmer they will definitely ask the high level questions okay so three coding question will be there you have to solve the coding question from the uh these topics topics uh, topics will mostly topics uh, like if, if i check from the uh, previous year now so topics was covered 
on that only if you want to prepare then you can prepare the data instruction that is from the array string linked list and trees algorithm like greedy algorithm back tracking recursion or sorting dynamic programming because one question they are definitely asking from the dp this time 2025 they might ask the high level question so db problem will be there bit manipulation graphs stack and queue these are the some topics if you are covering at least two question you can find or at least one question you can find between these topics these are the very important topics if you are preparing for the spdsc job role you can prepare these topics now i am going to discuss about the exact cut off for this one so what is the difference between sp and dsc selection process okay if you are appearing for the sp the package would be 9.5 or 9 lakhs if you are appearing for the dsc that would be 7.6.25 lakh okay high level competitive level and that is the medium level we can see medium and what date level we can see okay and test cut off if you are solving 3 out of 22.5 question then fully like all test cases pass uh, passing your question then you will get the sp job role okay then your assessment will clear if you are solving one and a half out of two question then your sp job role dsc sorry dsc job role clear basically okay so it is clear like if you are solving one and a half and two question then you will get for the sp job role if you are solving the three out of three question and three out of 2.5 question 2.8 question then definitely you will get the sp job role and package would be nine lakhs this is the exact process for the enforces sp and dsc job role okay now i am going to discuss about the interview process suppose if you shortlisted from the online assessment then what type of question they are asking in the interview okay in the interview what type of questions you have to prepare so much guys so in the interview first of all if you are like preparing then you have to prepare from the resume resume your resume guys uh, um, uh, will impact their a resume should be perfectly a uh, preparation will be there and guys whatever the projects you have mentioned in your resume that project you have to prepare whatever the internship you have mentioned in your resume that internship you have to prepare whatever the technical skills you have mentioned in the resume you have to prepare now go through one by one Projects means to be up in technology but I like whether you have created a project in the data science field or web development that you have to prepare like technology what technology you have used in the projects now this internship internship mean whatever you have done if you have any previous experience any previous internship experience whatever you have done that in that internship they are asking that type of questions after that technical skills and any programming language uh, there they can uh, ask some problem on the coding problem also medium level short question also short programming also they might ask or they can ask from the uh, pro, uh, like uh, uh, programming language a question oops concept also some database question from the dbms operating system some question and uh, the cs fundamentals total technically you can prepare if you have any additional skills other than the programming language then if you have mentioned in your resume definitely prepare cloud computing ai whatever you have mentioned just prepare like go through all the topics that they might ask or oh, this is total technical interview because this is for nine lakhs they might ask some technical also they can go in the deeply also in the technical interview so do prepare all the technical interview question also i hope you like this video thank you guys thanks for watching